You guys hear that? No. It can't be. No way. I can't I know that sound. Give up. No. It's familiar. Oh, man. That's the King Doris Hotikikis Delaris. Yeah, these birds seem to pop up every now and again. They are a damn nuisance, too. Oh, yeah. That's another Kingdom Hearts delay, baby. Alright guys, what's going on? It's Cynical. Welcome back to another one. Got a small Kingdom Hearts update for you dudes. Kingdom Hearts Missing Link has been delayed. Again. So for those of you who are unaware, uh, Kingdom Hearts Missing Link was meant to receive its second closed beta test this year, January 2024, for Android devices. Throughout the end of November and into the start of December, we got the iOS closed beta, which was our first proper look at the game, and a small handful of people finally got to experience it. So far from what we've seen, the game actually looks pretty good. It's got the cliche, to be expected, mobile game Bull but if we just kind of push that to the side, overall I think Missing Link is looking like a fun time. So Android users were rolling into January 2024, expecting to play the Kingdom Hearts Missing Link beta link. I'm ready for you, baby. Huh? As this month has progressed, uh, there's been no word on Missing Link, uh, and on top of that, no announcement of the participants. People started to get a little bit worried, and naturally, as we are kind of creeping into the end of the month, we're all sort of thinking to ourselves, yeah, high chance that Missing Link has received a delay. And in actual fact, it has. A few hours ago, Square Enix sent out a small update basically saying the closed beta test of Missing Link for Android, which was set for January 2024, has been postponed. The postponement of the Android version is due to the conclusion that further adjustments are necessary to ensure that the game can be played comfortably on a wider range of devices. The new date for the closed beta test is scheduled for spring 2024. Just a little bit of context too, when they are mentioning spring, that is US spring, so that can mean March, April, or May. We will announce the winners and the detailed schedule on this account. We appreciate you for your patience. So in case you guys haven't been keeping up with the development cycle of Missing Link, it does seem as if there have been a few different development issues with the game. Obviously, this is a brand new territory that Square Enix are trying to tackle. This would be their very first ever GPS-based mobile phone game, and ensuring something like this works worldwide, especially when you have to take into account that not everyone is using the exact same mobile phone. Both the concept of the game and the actual platform that the game is running on uh, can cause some issues. So I totally don't blame Square Enix for obviously going through a couple of delays for this game now. However though, the original first closed beta test was actually meant to come out at the end of 2022. This game got revealed, what was it, like April um, of 2022? So. It's been taking a hot minute. That closed beta test in 2022 never ended up happening. And I don't know if they initially meant that the closed beta test was actually more so going to be the prototype test, but then a prototype test exclusive to Japan ended up happening in January of last year. I don't believe that the prototype test was the intended closed beta that was meant to happen in 2022, because at the end of that initial Missing Link reveal trailer, it does say limited to specific regions, whereas the prototype test was exclusive to one region being Japan. So it's, I think, a definite thing that that was Missing Link's first delay in 2022. Once that prototype test had wrapped up at the beginning of the year, dead silence. Nothing on Missing Link up until October, randomly out of the blue. Square Enix started to roll some teasers, which is super exciting. We were seeing more of the game, a trailer dropped, and the announcements that finally a closed beta test for the UK, Australia, and Japan would be happening at the end of November through until early December. Now, what does this recent delay mean, though, for the actual full release of the game? In case you guys don't know, Tetsuya Nomura did mention in December at a special Missing Link event over in Japan, that the intended month is May. That's not concrete, by the way. He didn't mean, yes, it's coming out in May, but if he were to come up with a month that is sort of ideal, he was looking at May. Now, in regards to that, because of this recent delay, it looks like the next beta test will probably either be March or April. I'm thinking end of March into early April. Also kind of coincides with the Kingdom Hearts anniversary as well, so that's kind of neat. Aside from that up in the air May release month for the full version, Nomura also did mention that he wants to release the game 
game during a month where the weather is nice, considering that you kind of have to go outside in order to play the bulk of this experience. So looking at a month like summer is probably the perfect time. Spring would obviously work well too, it's not too hot, not too cold, but summer also works too. So if we're looking at the month of summer pertaining to that of the US season, then we're looking at somewhere around June through until August. Now it actually does make me happy that they are pushing this back if it means that this game is going to be compatible on more devices. I saw a lot of beta footage from both my friend Sai as well as a lot of other participants. And I know that at least for Psy, the game was running on an iPhone 12, which it is compatible with the iPhone 12. I can't say for sure what devices some of the other participants were playing on, but from the footage that I saw, uh, there were certainly some frame drops. This is to be expected. It is a closed beta. Things and kinks are still being worked out. But for the likes of being able to allow most people to enjoy this game, they're going to have to ensure that the compatibility for Missing Link covers a wide range of devices. Keep in mind too, there are also a lot more Android based devices than there are iOS iPhones. So it is a little bit more work to ensure the compatibility uh, is up and working for all of those different Android devices. Hence why we're seeing this delay. Rest assured though, we should, hopefully, maybe, please have Missing Link this year. Maybe? However guys, just a little bit of a Kingdom Hearts update. I felt this coming, especially as we got closer and closer to the end of January. Is it surprising? To be honest, no. Uh, I think us Kingdom Hearts fans are pretty used to delays when it comes to this series, so I hate to say it, but it is sort of a reoccurring thing. Hey, that's fine. If it means that we get a polished product as an end result, fine by me. Thank you so much to all of my groovy patrons. You guys are incredible. I appreciate the support. Be sure to check out my other social media channels as well as the second channel. Sub here to TGJ to keep up with all the latest. I'm Cynical. Hopefully I'm having a fantastic day and we'll talk real soon.